Hi, my name is Jeremy Enzard, and I'm going to show you how to set up an auto scoring Google form. Um, so you could set one up from a new a new Google form just by going to create and create new form. Um, but the the forms are a little different than they used to be, and so I'm going to use a template that I have, and you can use the template too to get to it. You want to type in tiny url.com backslash auto score 10 and that will bring you to the the template and from here um, you have to be sure you're signed into Google Google Docs in order to use this um, and so you won't be able to edit this form but you'll be able to make a copy of it so that you can create new auto scoring assignments so if you go to file make a copy and then um, we'll call this test auto score. So you just name it whatever your assignment's going to be. And then create new assignment. So here's the blank template. And you can see down at the bottom we have some tabs. Student responses. This is where your uh, question, um, the answers from your, your questions from your students will go. I have another page that's set up already. This is the score, so this can do some auto scoring for me if that's what you want to do. And then there's some about information here, just some um, some user information if you need that. So we'll start with um, setting up our questions. So if we go to form, edit form, this will take us to the, the form edit page. And here I can, um, I can set up uh, all my questions. So first I have um, I'd have my title, um, so I'll call this uh, test auto score, and then you could put in information here, and then you can. I have a class um, question set up, so I know which period, and we have a five five period uh, class schedule. So uh, I also have last name and first name, so I can sort the student information using all three of these and then I have an email um, button and I want to force my students to put their email in because I want to use this to send them information later so I'm going to make this a required question so all four of these are required and then we can go through uh, you can insert little headers like this uh, that can have information uh, maybe the students get information out of a book so you could say you know what what chapter it comes from and um, some other information about this. Uh, let's say this is about photosynthesis. And then you write in your questions. And so um, you can either have them numbered and put descriptive text underneath it, or you can actually write the question right into uh, the question title. And for what I want to do, uh, for, for giving feedback to the students, I want to go ahead and put the question right in here. So, what is photosynthesis? And say done. So, this is a 10 question form. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave the rest of these questions blank for now. And we'll just call this good. Um, let's, uh, so we have other options too. We can do, this is a text response. We can do paragraph text. So, this question, I want students to write a little bit longer. Um, we could also do multiple choice, which only allows students to select one choice. Check boxes, which gives you, uh, they can select multiple options. Uh, choose from a list, scale or grid. We're going to stick with paragraph text for this one. So I'll say done. And I'm going to save this. And we'll go ahead and check out what our form looks like, our live form, by clicking on this link down here. So that'll take us to our our form. This is like a, a digital worksheet for for students. Um, and I use these to replace my, my regular paper worksheets. Okay, so for now, I'll just leave that open. And I will go back to the, the uh, spreadsheet. So anything that a student types into this is going to get dropped into our spreadsheet here. So we could do an example. I'll say class period one. I'll say test, test, test at gmail.com. Um, what is photosynthesis? 
uh, and I'll say it's using the ener energy in sunlight to convert uh, water and carbon dioxide into sugars. Okay, so now um, I make question 10, or whatever the last question is, I make it a required question so that students don't accidentally submit early. Sometimes if they hit enter on their device, um, they might submit, and I would end up getting multiple submissions from the student. So I make the last one required, and this one doesn't have a question, so I'll just put NA and submit. And here's the response that the students get. And this response is actually editable later if I wanted to change what it said. So if I go back to my template, you can see now that that response got dumped right into my spreadsheet. And I can then use this uh, if I wanted to make a really simple key. And I wanted students to know, this is a really simple example, but let's say I wanted to check to see if they use the word sunlight. Or even if I, if they just use the word sun, make it really open, kind of an open-ended question. So I can put that in, and if I go to scores now, you'll see that I put sunlight, and sunlight uh, has the word sun in it. And so in my, uh, this is a really complicated little script, but it's checking for the presence of this keyword in the response. So it gave me a one. Um, a student gives a response and you don't put a, an answer in the key, it's going to give them a one. So you can um, you can kind of grade those ones by hand as you go through uh, reading the res student responses. Um, so it's kind of a, a quick and easy little check to see if, if students are, are getting uh, what it is that you want them to get and a quick way to check. Uh, and, and and I'm going to show you in another video how to provide feedback to students using a script like this.